So in this video, we're finally going to take a look at Xamarin. And we're going to start with Xamarin Android. Uh, we're going to get Xamarin installed, uh, deployed to a real device. I'm going to show you how to set up your actual Android phone and push your first application to the device. Uh, so let's get started. So the first thing we've got to do is make sure Xamarin's installed with Visual Studio. Uh, so that's easy enough to do. If we just go to uh, Control Panel and then Uninstall a Program, and if we just go down to uh, Visual Studio, I believe it is, click Change instead of Uninstall. And then when this opens, we can go to um, the list. So it depends how many versions you've got installed. Uh, I've just got the one installed. Uh, and then we'll get to this view. If you've got multiple installs, you just have to click the tab you've got. Uh, then Xamarin is uh, a bit further down. It's mobile development with .NET. So you want to make sure this is checked and that will install the specific components. And then you can also go to individual components to confirm. Uh, and if you scroll down, you'll find a few that are related to Xamarin. Um, so we will have, see if we can find some. Um, the, where are we? We've got Xamarin, Profiler, uh, Remoted, all these things here. You've got the Android emulator because we're gonna start with Android and this hardware accelerating. And the reason I'm showing you these is because sometimes they don't check themselves automatically. 99% uh, of the time they do, but you can see what I've got installed by default here. So Xamarin NDK, Xamarin, uh, Android NDK, Android SDK, Level 25, it's installed for me, so I haven't made this decision. That's the, the current one with Visual Studio. So all you should have to do is basically click Mobile Development with .NET, and all these components should be you know, selected. And then you click down here, Modify. I've got nothing to modify, but that would then go ahead and install. Um, once that's installed, you can launch Visual Studio, and we should now have Xamarin installed. And you can see that now because we've got Android up here, so that's a a sign that we've got Xamarin. You can also do tools, options, and you'll have Xamarin here. So you've got your options. You can also see that these three are checkboxed that they've successfully installed and they've got a location. If not, something's gone wrong, potentially uninstall and reinstall to fix, but again, they shouldn't go wrong. So once you've got Xamarin installed, you can click create new project. And in your visual C sharp, you'll have Android. And then you've got a bunch of Xamarin um, projects. We're not going to worry ourselves about the specifics right now. It's just about getting this up and running. So just select Android app in Xamarin and just click OK. Uh, and then we'll just start with a single view app for now, because again, we're not really bothered about the actual app. It's more about the setup and deployment at this stage. Uh, this can take a while as well. Um, so this is quite a fast machine. Uh, what I'll do love as well, uh, you'll get used to Xamarin having bugs straight away. Xamarin templates has caused us seven seconds of unresponsiveness. So Visual Studio is warning us that Xamarin is a pile of crap. Uh, so basically, get ready for you know a lot of bugs. This is the way that Xamarin works. Um, so I'll ignore that for now. Uh, Control Shift and B just to build the project. Let's make sure it builds. You can see in the build source here, it's selected Android accelerated 32-bit um, nougat, and it's running on the API 25, and it's Android 7.1. Uh, so this is an emulator, a software emulator uh, for Xamarin so that you can run without a phone. Uh, but at this stage, this is one thing I will mention that I wouldn't recommend using an emulator at all. So they're incredibly slow. Uh, one thing you'll have seen and the installer was an uh, Intel H Summit something. It's basically a hardware accelerated version of the emulators. Uh, when that comes out, which is due anytime now it's in preview, that may speed the emulators up, but still for many reasons, I would not use emulators. I'd just get yourself a, a real device and just don't touch emulators. So we have the project building and the first step would actually be to say, okay, let's just run. So we just click this button to run and straight away again, you can see it's gonna be run on accelerated. The Intel HAXM uh, isn't installed. Hardware acceleration isn't enabled. All these warnings, we can fix all these. We can update Visual Studio to preview. We can install this and configure it. Uh, and you might go quicker. I'm just going to click start anyway because I have no intentions of using an emulator. 
the first time you start this as well, you notice how that started straight away, and now down here it's detecting installed packages. This will take about 15 minutes, if not longer, um, to even open up when you first do it, because it takes literally 15 minutes on this fast computer. It's really, really slow. Uh, and now it's deploying. Uh, I'd say three times out of four, this deploy will also fail. Um, so again, this is the experience you'll get. You'll see how much faster it is when we use a real device. But basically I clicked deploy like 20 seconds ago um, and we're still just waiting for this thing to happen. And there you go, welcome to Xamarin. There's an error. Um, and press F5 and run again and it will probably work this time. That's just, again, like I say, unfortunately, this is what Xamarin is. This is how it works. This is how bad it is. Um, so <laughs> this is why you need a video on how to even just start and run a basic project. So we'll see if we can get this up and running on the emulator just to show you that it can run sometimes. And you can see now it's removing all packages because it's failed to deploy just. So now it's removing all the mono Android packages. It's going to redeploy all them. Then it's finally going to push your application. Um, so we'll give this a minute. Uh, but like I say, after that, we're going to just move to um, using a real device because I, I would not recommend using this at all. Um, you can get Android devices now for, you know, five, ten pounds um, for a cheap old one. And they're fine. They're still better than using a, an emulator. Um, so now it's, it's in the middle of deploying. It thinks it's finished. It says ready. And then finally it's deploying again. So you can imagine doing this, changing one line of code and then having to wait one to two minutes every time to deploy your application. It's it's just unmanageable and unusable. Um, so I'll just literally pause this video and let you know when it's kicked back in or just fast forward the video and see if this works. So you can see it's failed again. So to be honest, I'm not even gonna bother just keep trying to push it. It does work sometimes, but that's exactly the reason why um, it doesn't work most of the times. So the next thing we're going to do is now take a real device, set this up ready, get it connected over USB, and then turn on wireless debugging as well. Uh, so let's get to do that. So up here, once we've set up the real device and plugged it in via USB, you should see the drop down here, see the real device. So we're just going to use my um, actual Samsung for this. So on a real device, you first have to just enable uh, developer mode or debug mode, and it varies on all devices. So I've got an S9, Samsung S9. Um, I'll show you how to do it on there. So if you just get your phone and go to settings, then it's typically in about or information um, and you go to, uh, you know, your phone info here. Um, and then in here you can see uh, software information maybe. There we go. What you're ultimately looking for is this build number and it's in different places on the phones, but you should always find build number. And you'll notice if I start tapping this, You'll see now it says you're four steps away from being a developer. Three, two, one. If only it was that easy. Uh, then you have to put your password in. And once you've done that, you'll see developer mode has been enabled. Now, if you go back, you will see in settings at the bottom, now we have a new developer options. So we can click this, and then here you've got a load of options. Um, so I sometimes like to put stay awake uh, while charging. So when I'm debugging, it's always on. Um, but that can also happen when you're simply charging at night. So you might not want that on. Um, I'm going to keep it on though. Um, OEM unlock running. The, the thing you're looking for is USB debugging. So turn it on. I think it comes on by default once you unlock debugging menu. If not, just enable it. Just turn it on basically and it'll warn you uh, that sensitive information can be transferred. Um, and that's really the only thing I believe we need to enable. Um, we also want, we will be doing in this video, um, debugging over Wi-Fi. So it's actually debugging over TCP IP. And some phones might have an option called um, wireless debugging. So that's the login, that's not the same thing. Um, you might have like wireless debugging to enable. Um, so if you've got an option in here, which I don't think this one has, I think it's on by default, um, then turn it on. And it would say either TCP IP debugging or wireless debugging. This one doesn't have it, so we don't need that. Uh, so with that set up now, um, we are ready to connect a cable. So if we just get a cable, so we'll just plug it in here. And then once we've done that, you should see now on here, we've now got Samsung SMG965F, which is the code name for the Samsung S9 Plus, I guess. 
It's running Android 8 and API 26. So now we've got that, uh, we can deploy uh, straight to that phone because it's on there. So if I click deploy, um, and then we switch back to uh, the desk, uh, then you should see uh, when it's deploying, which shouldn't take too long. Um, the first deploy will take a bit longer than normal, uh, similar to the emulator. Uh, when it installs mono so it'll start by installing the mono framework which is what xamarin runs on and after once it's on your device pushing the app to the device is fairly quick so i'll probably show you a quick change just to show you how quick the the difference is um but i just want to leave it on this screen at the minute so you can see it you know actually appear and, and how it starts and then i'll do a split screen after this uh, but let's just get it up and running through usb first uh, and then we'll go to doing wireless debugging so you don't even have to have a cable connected in order to deploy to the device. So there we go, it says Android app starting and it's appeared on the phone and now we've got a little tap menu, we've got a little settings menu at the top. Um, so that's on the phone there. Um, and then if we go to the computer, um, we will see that uh, it's running with the orange bar and we could also debug, um, but we'll do that in a minute. I want to get this set up wirelessly so I can show you side by side. Uh, so that's it deployed to a real device. That's, that's fairly simple and straightforward. Uh, so let's go on to doing a, configuring this for wirelessly connecting. So back on the device, all you need to do now it's um, debugging, if you will, you've enabled debugging. Uh, if you go to the settings and you're looking for connections, Wi-Fi ultimately. Um, and then you want to click on the Wi-Fi and you'll get details that will tell you the IP address. So this is the piece of information you want. So mine is 192.168.160. So that's it. With all that information, uh, if we just come over to the computer um, and we go to, you see up here, we've got open Android ADB command prompt. Click this. The way that we debug with Android is through ADB. So if we type ADB devices, uh, that's really slow at typing. Whoa, okay. I think my keyboard's messed up. Let's, uh, oh, there we go, let's try that again. Uh, God, I love Xamarin. Okay, this keyboard's messing up something crazy. ADB devices, there we go. You can see we've got one device and that's the Samsung device I've got plugged in. So to set up wireless debugging, you have to do this um, potentially each time you restart your computer, maybe I'm not sure when it'll disappear. But in here you type ADB um, and then TCP, I, uh, this keyboard. Let's just try, I've got a feeling, because I put that behind there, you can cut this out. Uh, so I'll go, what the f is going on, my mouse isn't working. Android. Oh my god. Excuse me. Oh, the whole PC is just dying. What in the f See, you can easily make funny bloopers. It'll just move, make me look like an idiot. Oh, f <laughs> <laughs> If only that was on. <laughs> there. I haven't been wrestling alligators. There we go. We were on this thing, weren't we? So we can actually blend it back in quite seamlessly. So. What I did want to do is type ADB devices to show you the device connected. This is my Samsung. Uh, what you have to do is type ADB um, TCP IP and then port 5555, which is the default, and press enter. And now it's restarted in TCP IP mode. Um, and now my phone's just been connected as a normal phone. So at this point, um, I can go to the cable and just unplug this. So now we don't have a cable connected. Um, so then if we go back to uh, here, and you'll see ADB, TCP IP, nothing found. ADB devices, uh, no list of devices. So the way we now connect the phone is to type ADB uh, connect, and then the IP address, which is 192.168.160 for me on my phone, colon 5555, and it says connected. Then we do ADB devices, you can see it's now showing up. So now my phone um, that has no wires attached, it's just on the desk, um, 
should show up here, which it already is. So you can see it's in this list. So if I click deploy on this now, um, and you can see it's going to start deploying in a minute. And I'll try and catch the time when it goes and switch cameras just at the right time. Um, so it shouldn't be as long as the last time. So I'm just going to switch now as it's in deploying. And you should see it will deploy and appear um, on the device uh, any minute. And then it'll open up the application again. So now you can kind of debug and just develop with your phone without any wires attached to it. So it's a much nicer experience. Um, so it's just taking a little while. Doesn't usually take this long, by the way. So again, maybe uh, the first time doing TCP IP is a little bit slow, I'm not sure. Uh, but we'll change something and redeploy after to show you the, the speed. Uh, in general, Xamarin is a lot slower though than Visual Studio deployment. So there we go, it's deployed, spinning up, and there's the app. So again, you can tap the, the buttons and things. Um, if we go back to here, you can see we're debugging. So if I went to say on um, debug a line here and just switch back to this for a moment and I tap this, nothing appears here. But if I go back to the screen, you'll see we're hitting the breakpoint. So in order for you to see this visually better now, um, all I'm going to do is to connect um, the phone that I can get the cable um, to HDMI. So this phone will output HDMI automatically. So I'm just going to connect this in. Uh, and what that will allow me to do now, you can see HDMI connected, is I can pull up uh, if this works. This is the first time trying this, but hopefully it will. So there we go. You can now see the phone. So I can kind of uh, touch these buttons and you can see it debugging here. Um, so if I just resize this over to here and drag across to make it look seamless, you can now see my screen here and the live phone that I'm actually operating here. So I can, you know, touch my phone. So we can have like a nice live debug here, but this is still wireless. Um, so I've obviously got a wire in for connecting the HDMI, but this is connecting wirelessly to the debugger. So as you've seen here, we've got this F5. So if I touch this um, email button down here, you'll see it comes straight through to the debugger. I press F5 and then it shows up. So you've got the debugger here. Um, we've also got then obviously on the create uh, on the menu options when they click the menu. So we'll put a breakpoint there and then tap the menu uh, and then tap settings. We get the breakpoint into the settings menu um, and we can see all the uh, the details. And you can see also the debugger again for Android and Xamarin in general is slower than what you used to for Windows, but it's, it's getting a lot better with Microsoft uh, buying Xamarin, but it's still don't expect as clean um, workflow, if you will, using Xamarin, it is still full of bugs. So really that's the debugger set up and ready. Uh, you can click stop here uh, to stop the debugger and then it goes back to my phone. If we just change quickly, just to see how quick the deployment is, uh, or the redeployment when you're messing with simple values. So if I go to some strings, I think the app title will be in here, app one. I change that to app two, press F5 to deploy. And now you can actually see the deployment happening live as well. So this is what's going to happen on my phone in real time. And you can see the Wi-Fi at the top there on my phone uh, is also going up and down on the signal because it's, it's transferring data. Uh, and now deploying to Samsung. Uh, so, and this again, this is a fast phone, fast PC, super fast network. So this is about as fast as you'll get with uh, working with Xamarin and deploying changes. So. It can be a bit of a slowdown and annoyance, but it's not the end of the world. It has got a lot better. Uh, it used to take me five minutes to deploy one iPhone app. Um, so hopefully that's not as bad there. So that's redeployed. You can see app two in the top left. Um, and then we've obviously got all the, the debugging again. So we're, we're up and running and I tap the email button and we've got debugging. So that's really it for the intro to Xamarin, if you will, uh, to get things up and running uh, connected to an, I, uh, an iPhone, connected to a, an Android phone um, and wirelessly debugging. So now we're ready to start really looking into the basics of Xamarin, working with it and figuring out how to, to make an application for ourselves. Uh, so as always, if you want to leave any comments, you've got any questions, um, any feedback at all, leave them in the comments. I do answer everyone. Um, and I hope this video was useful.